this documentary, we will be showing how everyone's rubbish has been managed correctly and is helping the community. We will be looking specifically into the rubbish at Big Wave Bay, a government-owned beach. 58% of Hong Kong's beaches have already been cleaned up and in those beach cleanups, 30,000 kilograms of rubbish has been kept over 55 kilometres of beach. Big Wave Bay used to be highly polluted and rubbish was building up all over the shore. The high income of tourists did not help the fact that they were not taking care of their rubbish and because of this, Big Wave Bay was becoming a rubbish filled beach. The government has now realised this and decided to take action by doing regular beach cleanups. This is, this is acceptable, but what about the other parts of the beach? What will happen to them? As you can see, the recycling bins have been put to good use. The locals and the public have been managing their rubbish correctly as a community. Teens are out here day and night always helping. But they're not just throwing away all the cans they see inside the bin. They're collecting them as they can be sold later on. How do you like Big Wave Bay Beach? Uh, I just got here, but it's you as possible. Do you think before Big Wave Bay Beach was quite polluted, do you think all the beach cleanups and fundraisers have really helped? I think so, and I hope it's going to continue because it's really important, especially in the plastic, especially in Asia. The pollution that's going on. Would you return here? Yes. Okay. 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 Tango However, not all Big Wave Bay is completely clean like this. Although this water is fabulous, some parts are horrible. Just around the corner from Big Wave Bay, there are piles and piles of rubbish. There are plastic bags and wooden planks all there because of careless people. destroying Hong Kong's wildlife and beaches. It won't just move by itself, we need you to help.